What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Real quick before we start this video, I actually was on the Cuddle Pile podcast. Yes, it's actually what it's called. It's called the Cuddle Pile podcast. I was with Justin Silverman from Silvermania, and we were talking over uh, some interesting topics. It was actually a really good show. I'll have a link to it below in the description you could check out. It was a lot of fun. I suggest you take a listen. It was a blast, and I hope you enjoy it too. Anyway, on to today's video. Skip it up and that up. All right, so if you are watching this channel, I am sure that many of you, I don't care if you're my age and you have 10 kids or you're 19, you've had those gaming sessions um, where they lasted for a real long time. You ever have them? I had them a lot more when I was younger where you would step away from playing the game and you would almost feel fatigued, like your eyes would feel tired. Or maybe when you close your eyes, you ever get this? I know you. some of you guys have where you would close your eyes and you actually would see the game, like the world, you would see the world of the game that you were playing. That's when you knew that you played too much. Well, have you ever think that you could actually play a game so much, whether it be on a portable device or whether you're watching, you know, playing PlayStation 4 on the big screen, where you would go blind. Well, that actually happened to this 21 year old woman from China. She played a game on her smartphone for so long that she lost sight in one of her eyes. I kid you not. Now the woman Wu Zhao Ying, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. She was playing the smartphone game Honor of Kings. And when she plays that game, she goes all out. Uh, after she was done playing for many, many, many hours, she started to lose sight in her right eye. Now, she was taken to a hospital in China and doctors diagnosed her with retinal artery occlusion. I've never even heard of that before. I've seen this story. And according to doctors, it's caused by eye strain by looking at a screen too long without taking a break which is something that you do when you play video games for hours and hours on end. The woman said that she is so addicted to Honor of Kings that she plays it all day long when she's off during the weekends and other days that she's not working. And days that she is working, when she gets home from work, she immediately starts playing the game right when she has free time. She said this to South China Morning Post, on days when I have no work, I usually get up at 6 a.m., eat breakfast, and play until 4 p.m. Then I'll eat something, have a nap, and play until 1 a.m. Sometimes I would be so absorbed in the game that I would forget to eat and not listen to my parents when they told me it's time for dinner. Now, Wu said that her typical binge of Honor of Kings would be anywhere from seven to eight hours. That's a full work day of, uh, think about it too on a smartphone. It's a smartphone game. Imagine, I sometimes, I'll be on Twitter and I've, if, I'm like, if I'm on there for like a half an hour straight, like my eyes feel like they're gonna pop out of my head. Imagine being on a screen this size, maybe a little bit bigger, even if she's on a tablet. Imagine being on a small device, whether it be a tablet that's a little bit bigger than this or whatever, playing a game for a full work day. Of course something's gonna happen to your eyes, man. Like, wow, that's incredible. I could never imagine, as much as I love video games, I can never imagine playing on something like this for eight hours or hours upon hours on end. I think the thing that we could take away from this is that anything can become addicting, whether it be alcohol, food, uh, cigarettes, you name it. If you enjoy something, you could become addicted to it. And, and the key to things is moderation. I don't know how, as much as I obviously enjoy video games, that's 80% of what my channel is, how you could sit there again on a small device this long, no matter how addicted you are, and, and play a game. But apparently people can, and you know, there's severe ramifications to it. Like I said, I feel my eyes when I'm on Twitter or social media on my phone after like 20, 30 minutes, I, I start to feel fatigue. How she did it for an eight hour day is incredible, but there were ramifications to it. And now she may lose sight in one of her, her right eye permanently. So yeah. Even when I edit video, you know, and I know people are going to roll their eyes. I'm not giving you health advice, but yes, I don't care what weight you are. You could have washboard abs and be 170 pounds. But if you edit video for long periods of time, what I do every half an hour is I get up. You know, one, I just can't sit for that long. I, I just start to get restless. But, you know, when I'm editing something, when I edit a video, I'll, I would say literally probably every 20 to 40 minutes, I'll get up, walk around go sit back down again. How many times do you hear horror stories about uh, people who live stream for a living? 
and you know they do marathons and you you hear how they just pass away because when you sit for that long people get clots in their legs and other things like that so everything in moderation is key that that's the most important thing no don't do too much if you play a video game yeah take a break every half an hour you just i would want to anyway you know even if i'm really enjoying a game i'm playing online multiplayer session i would say like every 20 30 40 minutes i want to take a break and go do something walk around so again you could become addicted to anything that you enjoy just the key to it is moderation i need to learn that with food this is richard review tech usa signing out have a good one all right ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and to hear more content like this make sure to subscribe to review tech usa